Hello and welcome to my movie review channel. Today, I am excited to share my thoughts on the latest blockbuster hit that everyone is talking about. From the stunning cinematography to the incredible performances, there is so much to unpack in this film. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into my review of Murder Mystery 2. Was I too critical of Murder Mystery in 2019, or have I grown to appreciate Adam Sandler more? It's possible that both scenarios are true, but it demonstrates how much comedy relies on timing and current events. Initially, I gave the comedy slash thriller a modest two-star rating after a series of, let's say, not so great comedies that resulted from Sandler's early partnership with Netflix. However, I now believe it deserves an additional half star as a worthwhile distraction. This could be due to the goodwill generated by recent initiatives such as Uncut Gems, Hustle, and the generally entertaining Hubie Halloween. Alternatively, it could simply be that I was feeling worse four years ago. Regardless of the reason, Murder Mystery 2 achieves its objectives in a similar fashion. Sandler's charm is once again the driving force. Once again, the Sandman and his writers avoid the meandering unfunny jokes that inflate the worst Happy Madison movies thanks to the film's short running time, just 90 minutes. And once again, it's an easy way to escape from the real world for the duration of a feature. Perhaps we simply need that now more than we did before the epidemic in the 2020s. It's a mystery. Sandler is back with a bang as Nick Spitz in Murder Mystery 2, playing the role of a retired New York City police officer who has ditched his routine patrol duties to partner up with his wife, Audrey, played by Jennifer Aniston, to solve crimes. They now work as private detectives, solving crimes for a fee. However, they are struggling to make ends meet. The movie takes off when the Maharaja from the first movie, Adil Actor, invites Nick to attend a lavish wedding in a tropical location. This fast-paced prologue is thankfully brief, possibly due to several test screenings that may have gone awry. Once again, Audrey and Nick find themselves as outsiders in a foreign country, which leads to some ugly American's humor, but it mostly relies on class humor. In both movies, the characters are struggling to make ends meet while being thrust into societies where millionaires treat money like it's worthless. These witty Poirots are outsiders not only because they hail from a different country, but also because they seem to belong to a different world in terms of privilege and income. Aniston and Sandler skillfully convey this without resorting to lowbrow humor. The Maharaja's wedding is a grand occasion that features majestic elephant entrances and group dances. However, things take a turn for the worse as the events unfold. In the end, the groom's bodyguard is fatally stabbed with a cheese knife on the side of the pachyderm. It turns out that the Maharaja was deceived and used as a distraction. Who is accountable? Even though Murder Mystery 2 offers a suspect list featuring Bride Claudette, Melanie Laron, ex girlfriend Countess C. Cow, Jody Turner Smith, sister Sarah, Kahua Varma, business partner Francisco, Enrique Arce, and negotiator Miller, Mark Strong, the movie isn't exactly glass onion. The mystery in the title serves merely as a device for the story to jump from one absurd scene to another, and before the characters know it, the Spitzies find themselves hanging from the Eiffel Tower and racing through the streets of Paris with ransom money. Aniston is more along for the ride than ever and isn't given nearly enough to do to match her comedic talent here, but there is definite chemistry between the two of them. These two have been working together as actors for a long time, and their on-screen chemistry is crucial to a movie like this. In a movie like Murder Mystery 2, we shouldn't ever wonder whether the main characters even get along. Thankfully, this never occurs. The fast paced kidnapping plot of the movie prevents the characters from being particularly complex, 
but Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler managed to accomplish a lot simply by frequently working together as actors. Moreover, the supporting cast is aware of how to stay in the background, making an impact when they can without ever slowing down the plot's momentum. This is a refreshing change from the Happy Madison regulars, who often tend to detract from the story's flow, yes, Rob Schneider, we're looking at you. In terms of action, director Jeremy Gerlich doesn't exactly shine, one fight scene, which takes place in a moving truck, is particularly awkward in terms of choreography. However, there is something to be said about the effectiveness of this project, especially in a time when television shows and feature films are excessively lengthy. Murder Mystery 2 doesn't aim for anything more than 90 minutes of mindless entertainment, and it succeeds in that regard. Heck, by the time the third installment is released, I might even like it more. That's it for my review of Murder Mystery 2. Overall, I thought it was an incredible film that is definitely worth seeing. From start to finish, I was on the edge of my seat and fully invested in the story and characters. The performances were top-notch, the visuals were stunning, and the soundtrack was perfect. Of course, no movie is without its flaws, but for me, the positives far outweighed any negatives. I highly recommend checking out Murder Mystery 2 for yourself and experiencing this cinematic masterpiece. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.